since now they have a new coordinator. Yeah. What have you been able to gather? That's that's the uh, kind of the big unknown right now. You know, we're trying to look back at some of the history of where he's been. Um, but they have a defensive head coach, and so I don't anticipate a ton of changes. But that first game is always hard, especially when they have a change like that. They, uh, there'll be some things that are, are unknown to us uh, that we'll have to adjust to, that we'll have to kind of, you know, cover on the fly. But, you know, you know fall camp is for a lot of different defenses and looks and things that you're going to get through the year. So we'll have gotten some good work on things, but there is uh, definitely the unknown that's tough in the first game. They're known generally for the kind of throwing this kitchen sink at you with blitzes. Is that something you're going to prepare in this offense? Alone? Yeah, yeah, that's been a big emphasis for us is being able to handle pressure. And we always feel like if, if you aren't able to handle it, you're going to just keep getting it. So we've got to put a stop to a lot of pressure on the quarterback and uh, you know, hit him with some runs and be able to slow that stuff down. So that'll be that'll be important for us to make sure we don't let him get off to a fast start that way. Is, is, is playing a three four against the three four that much different in the week leading up? Yeah, it yeah, it's a lot different. And uh, you know, knowing that going into the the week, the the fact that we've had really three weeks, uh, we've maybe we've been working on it since really uh, the first week of fall camp. So I'm not nearly as concerned about it as. I would be had we been going against four down teams for a month and then all of a sudden go back to a 3-4. So I think we'll be fine, uh, but it definitely is different. It presents some challenges and they can bring pressure from a lot of different ways with that 3-4. Danny, go, going upstairs this season, what, is that something you and Mike had just talked about? Or well, you know, you our history together, I've mostly been up. Um, I think one of our best years, Cav and I were together upstairs. We were able to talk through protections and runs in a little bit quieter setting with a lot less distractions. So we talked about it uh, kind of in fall camp and uh, we looked at it uh, a couple scrimmages and it just, it's good. It's, uh, there's good and bad to being up and down. You know, you have to kind of sort through that, but you get a great bird's eye view. Um, you know, with Cav, we can really hammer out uh, problems that we're having and ways to fix it and it's just a um, you know something we've done in the past so we're kind of going back to that and, and uh, not so much you know we we didn't uh, just being so new and everybody you know trying to kind of figure out how everybody works and um, I think being so new to the players making sure we were we were handling situations on the field the right way and not having any experience with these kids, I think it was important to be down there. But I think a year under our belt, um, you know, better communication with myself and Tommy for sure, you know, being able to talk to him on the phones rather than have to be right next to him. I think those things kind of all factored in, but uh, not, you know, it's, it's not that big a deal. I don't know, uh, you know, we can do it both ways, but I think we just felt at, at this stage for our team, it was it was good for Kevin and I to go upstairs and get a good look at what's happening on the field. On a day like today, when you have Patrick over here with you, what's the value of that? Rather than He's going here? both. He, he, yeah, he actually he actually started down there, so he uh, he pl he practices half uh, with the scouts and half with us. So it's. It's a learning, uh, you know, we want them to learn, get exposed to what we're doing, but also get work down there with the scout team. So he does do both. Coach, you talked to Tommy in the spring about what he was working on this season, and he said his big thing was cutting down turnovers. Now that the offseason work's done, do you think that you really do that? I do. Um, you know, I thought we, we turned the ball over. I think the big interception problems were probably mostly in our two-minute situations where – you know, we're forced into throwing the ball and, and having to take some chances because of the situation. But uh, overall, I thought his team and, and seven on seven periods were better. I think there's been, uh, there's been a huge emphasis on that um, for obvious reasons. You know, we really have to cut that down. But um, I think he has shown that. We'll see how we get into the season. You know, we have to make sure that carries over into the game. That will be a big difference in us winning and losing games. Is is him making good decisions and taking care of the ball? Yeah, you sort of hear asked, but uh, Trey Bryant to be in position to play right away. I mean, how, how difficult is that for a running back, as a true freshman, and 
how much has he impressed you since the summer? Yeah, he's really uh, picked up the system well. He's he's mature. He's smart. He's physical as a runner, and he's a, a receiving threat. So I, I like a lot of things about him. I think you got to be careful not to overload him. Um, you know, it's different playing in high school and then coming out here, and there's 90, you know, 95,000 um, screaming and yelling, and, and uh, it's just a different atmosphere. So you don't want to overload him and have him panic. I think, but he's a mature kid. He's ready to play. Uh, we'll play him in some situational stuff and uh, get his feet wet. But he's looked great in camp. Um, it ha the, the game, as far as practice with our defense, ha it hasn't been too big for him. He's he's been ready to go. Can you sometimes tell in the recruiting process this guy maybe has what it takes to make a run at it quickly? And did you sense maybe some of those attributes in him? Yeah, I think, you know, I don't think we very often will look at a kid and say, well, we see him playing and you know, three three years from now. I, you know what I mean? Now, he might be behind some good players. That might be reality, but we're we're always trying to upgrade. And um, I don't think we necessarily thought um, there was going to be a lot of guys that would break into that lineup this year, but you never know. And, and everybody, um, we feel like we're trying to get good players, and so we want them to push the veterans, and he was able to do that, um, you know. but. It's, it's hard to project it. I think you kind of know after really about the first couple weeks of fall camp, you have a pretty good idea, but they've got to grow up fast and be able to be mature enough to handle it. you know what you're going to get offensive line play-wise Saturday night with the new <laughs> starters? Or do you... I hope to know. You know, I mean, we until you, you, uh, until you put them out there, it's, it's hard to, to really know what you're going to get. But we've had great work. I think they're confident and ready. Um, they've been practicing well, you know, it, it, like I said, when the lights go on, it, it, it can be different for some guys. So I, I, I do feel confident in what we have. Um, there'll be some growing pains, I'm sure, uh, that we'll work through, but it's, it's a good group. It's a tough group, and um, it doesn't appear that, that anything's been phasing them through fall camp. <laughs> Sleep-wise? Yeah, sleep? uh, you know, if I can get to sleep, I'm okay. But it's the ones where I've, I'm not able to fall asleep. Then I start thinking more and more. Then I worry about what time it is, and then I'm not sleeping. But, um, you know, I, I try to kind of play that game uh, a couple, couple, two or three times the night before. And, and uh, I kind of like watching some games, too, just because things come up uh, situationally that, that might just remind you, okay, you know, there's, there's, there's 32 seconds to go, and, and uh, are you going to, uh, you know, use a timeout? Are you going to spike the ball? Are you going to, is it, what are you going to do on fourth and one, fourth and ten? You know, there's, there's a lot of things that you just keep kind of working through and making sure you're prepared for it. And uh, for me, a lot of times the games, you know, just kind of help think, help you keep uh, reminding you about situations and thinking about uh, different game stuff. Just a game yeah, and I'll, I'll, I'll like to look at our game. So, we, you know, I have it on the iPad and, and uh, just make sure I go back through uh, one more time. But, um, you know, I think you just kind of keep dress rehearsing uh, what's going to happen and best take what the information you have and, and make a decision, go with it. Coach, if you had to single out one or maybe two guys who were Uh, probably Trey would be one of those. Just the fact that we're uh, we're at a point where we we're wanting to play him some. Um, I like uh, I like how the line, the freshman line, have have come in. I think Bo Wilson, I think Farniok, I think Rarden, all are are going to be good players. We're not necessarily going to use them right away, but I like that class. Um, J D Spielman, and I, don't, I think he's a guy that. Is exciting. He's going to take a little work and take some time to keep learning. But uh, I like a lot of the guys in the class. I think it's it's a exciting group that that uh, might not be this year, but I'm looking forward. It's going to be a, a lot of good players. Okay.